I, uh, I plan to do this for quite a while. Uh, this should be fairly interesting. Um, hopefully this uh, repository is up to date because I'm going to install the Visual Studio ReSharper extension. Very, very popular extension. I, um, I like it. It's cool. And I'm actually going to use the Chocolatey framework to do so because I don't feel like stepping through all the prompts. So I'm going to open oops, PowerShell and of course user account control popped up because I'm logged in as the, ad well, under an administrator account. I'm not actually logged in as the administrator, which is kind of funny. I never really did understand the difference between that. Anyway, Microsoft is interesting. So I'm going to install this. Hopefully this actually works. Let's see. Nice. It's up to date. Good. I don't know why this thing reads that like that. That's really weird, but still. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just press control to uh, quiet this down a little bit. For anyone who doesn't know what system access is, that's actually it's the one of the screen readers that I use. Um, I'm actually going to be using it in my next demo when I uh, demonstrate how there's a bit of work that needs to be done with ReSharper and um, screen readers. So that's going to be the point of this next demo that I'm doing here and. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you the installation of ReSharper via the uh, Chocolatey framework. So Unix people out there, you guys will know what, what that is. Basically, um, you know, Unix people just kind of think that um, Windows users now have sort of an aptitude app get equivalent, which is really awesome. I use this all the time. I find it very handy. And what's even cooler is there's an automatic updater, but I still need to figure out how to use it. I haven't quite learned that yet. So let's see where we are in the installation, shall we? Oh, that doesn't show. Never mind. Hmm. I wonder if it's done installing. You know what? In this case, I'm going to switch to JAWS. That's going to make it a little easier, I think. For me to see the output of this command, so switch. Whoops. Holy smokes, I have to turn this down a little bit. It's really loud. Yeah, 
Holy crap. That's like crazy. All right, so let's let's see if this actually works for this, shall we? And it's going to read the whole thing for us. It definitely is taking a while. This is definitely taking a while. But uh, for those of you who don't know what the uh, ReSharper extension is, it's a very good um, productivity extension for Visual Studio, and that's why I'm really glad it's up to date because I'm actually using Visual Studio 2012, and in the next demo that I do, I'm actually going to show you that because, um, like I said, the next demo that I'm doing is going to be a demonstration of how, of uh, what kind of needs to be done in order to make ReSharper a little bit more accessible for uh, the blind people who are using it because there certainly are, believe it or not, quite a few blind .NET and otherwise programmers out there. I don't actually qualify as one of them. I will say that as a disclaimer right now. I am not a programmer. I'm a learner, but I'm doing um, a demo. Actually, I'm actually doing uh, JetBrains a favor, and I'm actually going to explain to them because they really do actually want to fix some of these issues, but it's a lot helpful. It's very helpful if they can actually see what's going on so that's what the next demo is going to be but for now um, this is installing and it looks like it's going to take a while so I'm going to stop this recording but at least you guys can see the um, chocolatey framework in action and I do apologize for the um, stuff on my taskbar popping up but uh, I had to turn some of that stuff down because that was just like really low so, unfortunately that was the only way I was going to be able to get to it and uh, it just showed up in the middle of the recording, so I apologize for that, and that shouldn't happen in the actual demo, so see you guys in a bit. Oops. Oops. 